Now we are going to start the group discussion for senior students that is class 10 and above. And topic is very nice. It's a philosophical topic. There is no definition of good or bad. So, start. of good things or bad things and this is just uh, our feelings towards the things that happening uh, beyond us and in this circumstance and we can't say clearly that this is good for everyone and this is bad for everyone because we all are human beings and no one can be like, uh, like no one can be compared to others and so in this case the thing which is good to us might be bad to another's and which is good to another's might be bad to us. So I would like to ask uh, you all about your own opinion. So uh, I agree with this topic because uh, some person like a uh, matter uh, very positively good way but another one like this matter in bad way by neg or negatively. So I think it is only the mm, way of thinking, uh, not, uh, it has no uh, correct uh, or perfect definition. So I uh, give an example that uh, when a girl uh, stand by a boy or uh, when a girl uh, passing by the road or by a boy, so this, our society uh, tell so many uh, words uh, about it. So I think it is really so bad because uh, I think a boy would be a very good friend for a girl actually because they are doing so much quarrel about girl and another girl. So uh, it is thinking of way actually. So I like it a good way but another person like it badly. So, so um, yeah, there is uh, no uh, different defin uh, definition of good or bad. We people of the society uh, define it as, uh, as good thing or as bad thing. Like uh, I am giving an example. A girl uh, who uh, works in a uh, company and uh, she, uh, she, backs, uh, she come back, uh, comes back from his uh, job uh, late night. Uh, our, uh, in our society there are so much aunties like uh, people. They... Uh, they instantly they say that uh, this uh, say that uh, the girl is uh, not good in nature or um, the uh, why the girl is um, um, why the girl is out from the house uh, so late night and uh, other example is uh, that uh, in a school a boy or a girl is uh, not uh, good at uh, studies they uh, they uh, do so many uh, naughtiness in school. Um, some parents uh, to, uh, tell their children that not to talk with this particular boy or the girl. The, uh, uh, we know that uh, the boy or girl uh, is not good at studies and uh, do uh, many uh, naughtiness in school. But that does not mean that uh, they are good or bad. Our people, uh, uh, the society, of, uh, the society uh, defines as good thing or as bad thing. That's all. Mm. So I agree with this topic. We don't uh, justify anyone as good or bad. Uh, just an example, I want to say that uh, if a girl or boy in our society do a, a bad result, we think that he is bad, but he can be good in other activities, he can do other sports or anything, he can good. So we don't have to justify by one thing or by the result or something. So what is so uh, I agree with this topic that uh, good or bad have not uh, a particular definition. But <clears throat> so I want to tell it uh, with an example that when uh, a girl wa wearing a uh, short or western type of dress, then uh, so many uh, so-called aunties tell them that uh, tell them and ask that. Uh, they, uh, she is not so good in nature. She is a uh, bad uh, girl. The, that's so she is wearing a uh, dress uh, type of this. 
uh, so we have we don't we don't talk with them etc etc but uh, but maybe she is not bad or uh, uh, she is not bad and uh, in uh, good in her nature so we have no rights to judge anyone by, like this so that the topic uh, which is the, there is no definition of uh, good or bad uh, it is actually our own uh, feeling way of feeling so i think this is actually correct because there is no absolute thing in this world uh, cause when a baby born he or she doesn't know anything about this world we the society teach them uh, that this is good or this is bad and also the circumstances or the environment where the baby is growing uh, those can affect them uh, to decide whether the something is good or something is bad. Uh, so uh, I think that um, when uh, we decide that this is good, uh, it's actually from our perception uh, which we have gathered from uh, our childhood memory or something. Uh, like uh, for an example, uh, su suppose that there is a, a food which is very spicy and uh, that we all know that which uh, that is spicy but uh, someone uh, who likes spice uh, he will see uh, he will say that uh, the food is very good but who doesn't um, like spice he will say that food is very bad but what is then what is the truth is it is the food is uh, food is bad or is the food is good actually there is no absolute answer because uh, it's the uh, it's our own way of feeling uh, that um, it is the own way of our individual feeling that uh, someone might say that uh, this is good or someone might say that this is bad. So I think uh, it's our uh, individual way of saying that uh, something is good or something is bad. There is nothing absolute. So what's your opinion? Yes, you are right. And I also have some mixed feeling about this topic because uh, something is good or bad is already dependent, depending on how we feel or how our society uh, teaches. us. But I also feel that uh, it's depending on uh, some uh, other activities also just like an uh, example that uh, if uh, in childhood if we uh, stay outside in rain for so long then we fell in sick then uh, that will uh, be harmful for our health then that activity just turns out as a bad for us so uh, uh, it is bad for everyone not just uh, particularly me or uh, myself it's bad for everyone. Then in that particular case, we can say that we can easily define how the bad things are. But in other words, uh, how the today's world is going, they are uh, um, concentrating in others' opinion. Just like in America, uh, they are uh, literally uh, b blame or... Uh, Yes, uh, they are literally blamed for everything towards the uh, black peoples. In uh, movies, we have also seen that uh, they showed us uh, that all the bad guys are uh, in uh, black tones. So uh, that's how they show the world uh, to us. And uh, this is also uh, some uh, very bad uh, impression uh, to us from them. Because uh, they are literally... Uh, trying to make a define between what is good and what is bad and uh, and i think that shouldn't be uh, allowed <coughs> okay so let me tell uh, we human beings have our own freedom on our likings and every individual man has their own likings and uh, good things and bad things depends on the so teachings that we are getting from our society or from our teachers from very very childhood <coughs> i also uh, to conclude i would like to tell that uh, from the teachings from uh, our childhood and uh, our likings depends on the, this teaching and uh, depending on this teaching uh, we uh, the, uh, our feeling grow, grows up like the, this thing is good or this thing is bad and as the society shows us we do the same and uh, uh, we say that this thing is good and this thing is bad uh, like the society teaches us and from the uh, and we live in india but outer than india in foreign countries this may not be good for them uh, which uh, seems good to us thank you 
definitely there is uh, no particular or absolute definition which uh, mentioned by Kostov very well. So when we are taking birth, then our parents, our mother and our father <coughs> give, uh, gives us the basic training. And it depends on the base, but gradually we are grown up, then we are having some idea about good or bad. And we are considering a base always to calculate the good or bad, some ethics, but it is changeable. It depends upon the situation, circumstances and other thing. Otherwise, you cannot tell if you are out, somebody, somebody when you are going to take any food, somebody suddenly throws a stone and you are getting angry. You destroy my food, but you don't know why he or she intentionally threw it to destroy your food. Because from where you purchased the food, somehow there was something happened just sometime earlier. And if you take the food without knowing, the shopkeeper didn't tell you and the person washed it. If you take the food, then it will be harmful for you. So first time you are getting angry, you are not hearing. Even you slap the person, you have destroyed. But later, first time you were good in your decision, definitely your food has been destroyed. It is a bad thing. But to the person, it was really good thing. But you realized this later. Then you repented that what you have done, your decision was not good. So in this way, when your parents is calling you, first time you are telling that uh, it is, uh, they are very much bad, they are scolding us. But later, you realize that it was for your good, for, the, for your benefit. Just like that way, when we are facing any problem from any person, we are telling that the person is bad. From the side of person, he is telling or she is telling that I wanted to give her or give him a teachings, but she took it in other words. So I am, I was right. So both sides, both are right. They are telling no, why? She or he will tell me in this way. But the person who is your well wiser, always rebuke you, always scold you. Just like your parents, your near and dear ones. Then they are not bad, they are good. But if anybody is not your well wiser, if you are doing wrong, yes, 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 you do it. This is, this is well. This is well. Because she or he wants you, your bad, bad thing. They are jealous. But outside, they are not revealing that. Yes, yes, you go. Oh, they are, uh, they are not, uh, they, 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 they don't want your good. That's why they are preventing you. Oh, hide, hide it from them. You go on. Because his or her intention is your harm. But that time, you are realizing, she is telling or he is telling me in this way. Very bad person. But from that person, he is okay that time. Good. But you are taking it. But if your parents or other well uh, then they definitely don't. don't do that. Why you are doing this? They will scold you. They will scold you. Even they will beat you. Why? Why? They want you to make you perfect. They want your good. That your habit is not good. Maybe the position compel you to do the thing. But you think that person is also not bad. 
So in this way, it depends on your... Sometimes the liking. Suppose you know that in an educational <coughs> teaching tutorial home, and no slang language should be used. If you used, sometimes, maybe you are compelled to do that. You are right that some good. I have done this very good way. But in your club or circuit, if you don't use any slang, then they will be you are bad. You are not suitable in this club. You are not bad. You are not using any slang. So don't come here. You are not fit for us. Then you are bad. But in your side, no, my parents or other tell the never tell such a thing. I will not use such thing again. So they are also right. So in this way, there is no absolute definition of good or bad.